I'd say to that person, first of all, you just prove that humans don't have intelligence. Anybody that would make a claim that animals don't feel and they're not smart are completely idiotic, stupid, selfish, and speciesistic. Uh, it's insane to think that animals don't feel. If they don't feel, then when we torture them and they scream in pain when they're being hung upside down in a slaughterhouse, what are they screaming from? Nothing. When we light them on fire and burn research and they scream. And then the animal researcher claims, well, we gave them anesthetic so they wouldn't feel. Well, if they didn't feel, what do you give them anesthetic for? So they don't feel? Nothing? It's completely insane. Animals have the same... Well, when it comes to pain and suffering, animals and humans are completely, completely equal. That's for sure. And animals are also rational beings, too. There's a big myth out there that only humans are rational and aware. You know, if animals are flying in a V formation, if they're hiding when they don't want to be seen, if they can locate water to drink, if they can find shade on a sunny day and sink warmth when it's cold, okay, that's logical thought. They're always being logical. We don't have the right to, but I understand why people feel this way, which is why I want to educate and talk to them and teach them the truth. But you bring up something very important. Our parents are full of lies, completely full of lies because of what their parents told them and what their parents told their parents and what society tells people and religion and government. So what I want to tell people is don't believe things just because your mommy and daddy told you so. Hey, mom and dad have no clue about ethics in most cases, have no clue about how the world should be working, have no clue about proper human to animal relationships. Fortunately, all the vegans I know broke away from their parents and from their parents training and they are now thinking logically and compassionately for the first time. If I can go into more detail about family, I know my wife doesn't like this, but I think family is the downfall of society because people end up living for their families, doing whatever their families want, never cutting that invisible umbilical cord that still exists. People would be a lot happier if they cut loose from their families once they hit the age of 18, trust me. No, I think my mom is completely psychotic. I think my sister and her family are completely psychotic. They've actually stopped talking to me because I care about animals. Where's the logic and the sanity in this? I can talk to groups of strangers and they break down and cry and tell me that I've changed their lives and my own mother, my own sister and her family won't even listen to me. In fact, I'll tell you about the last time we talked. It was August 19th last year on my birthday. I was passing through Illinois where they live. I was there for one day because that's all I can take from my family anyways. It's not like we were close before that. But we went out to lunch to a place that just put vegan burgers on the menu. I assume we were all getting vegan burgers because I have a rule that I established in 1997 and it's if you want to sit down and eat with me, you eat vegan. Oh, we don't eat together. I'll see you later on. So we go there and we order and I hear macaroni and cheese being ordered. I hear a fish filet being ordered. I hear a vegan burger from my nephew Jacob and then I hear double cheese. So Erica knows how I am. I turned to her and I said, did I just hear what I thought I heard? And she, she didn't even want to acknowledge. She's like, yeah. So I explained to my family, I go, you guys know when the last time you saw me? It was one year and seven months ago before that. So we figured it out. It was about 585 days. I said, times that by three, three meals a day. So we agreed to about 1,800. And then at the top of my voice, I said, you guys have had 1,800 meals to eat whatever you wanted to eat. Today, when I'm in town, you can't have one meal without dead animals and the things that come out of these murdered animals. And I stood up and I left. Walked out, called a taxi cab, took a taxi back to my mom's house, jumped in my car, and left. And again, they still think that I'm irrational for this. When they're the ones that are psychotic, 1,800 meals, you can't have one meal without dead animals. But this is the mentality of most meat eaters and of parents too, because parents also hate to admit that they're wrong. Boy, a parent would hate to say, oh, I taught you something wrong, when I don't get this because you can't be right all the time. I don't know why parents, like most people, can't just acknowledge the fact that they made a mistake, make amends, apologize for the way they've been living, and evolve.
change, move forward. 